Right Honourable Winston Peters. Nothing that I wish to say on behalf of New Zealand First is going to be, I hope, interpreted as a reflection on the current nominations, but the public of this country must have confidence that the procedures by which the Commission has put together are and is fully representative. Because two decades after, or 20 years after, a referendum in this country to decide that we would move to a new political system called MMP, you've got some people in this House who think we're still there under the first past the post system. 20 years on, haven't learned a thing. I know some of them look like they've been here for two decades or more, but the fact is they're thinking, they're thinking, they're, no really. <laughs> Listen, Grandad, I wouldn't, ask, I wouldn't shout to somebody if I was you to look in the mirror. I mean, that's not a very smart thing to say at all. Not if your name's Nick Smith anyway. But back to my point, I've been unfairly devi detoured here. The fact is that two decades on, we have a minister who is a member of the Law Society walk into this house and say, I've got a great idea, we've got a nomination, and so is the Labour Party, and that's it. We have a nomination, and so is the Labour Party, and that's it. All the rest of the other parties don't matter at all. It gets even worse. I can recall when New Zealand first had all of the Māori seats, not just some of them, all of them, the National Party nominated the person to go as the Māori representative on the Commission. Sure. Do you remember that? You've got to be pretty arrogant when one party's got all the Māori seats, you've got none, and yet you put up your own friendly Māori on the Electoral Commission, uh, commission and here we are in September 2013, and the Minister of Justice, who's painted herself as a new age and modern lady, comes in with this dusted off model from the last century. Dust off, I know it's like her ideology, but it's a dust off the back of the van old model that is not democratic at all. And we want to know why it is that the government hasn't had the decency to ask other parties for their views. At least the Labour Party had the decency to say, we've got our nominees, what do you think? <laughs> I mean, it's not total consultation, is it? But at least it's a start. <laughs> at least it's a start. And they even wrote to us, but not the National Party, the born to rule, the born to rulers, those who think that they uh, have got a right to rule but don't know what noblesse oblige means, has got no understanding of culture and taste and history, they're still back doing it. So I'm saying to the Minister, why not actually now withdraw this, start the process over again and probably consult all the political parties in this country. Imagine that it's the day after, uh, imagine it's 7.30 on election night and you're strung out to dry because some other party holds the political power and the balance of the future. Imagine then how you'd think. Well, I know what they'd do. They'd be all cosy. Can we help? What would you like to know? Can we help? Can, do you want to be consulted? Oh, yes. There'd be an outflow of, com uh, of friendship and cooperation, the likes of which you only see when they really realise how desperate their uh, position is. Well, well, doing this is just putting off the inevitable. It just means that other parties front an, an absolute affront when this could be a neutral choice of people. So rather than have a Judith Mander, why don't we have some democracy? The question is that the motion be agreed to. Those of that opinion will say aye. aye. To the contrary, no. the ayes have it. The ayes have it. Has a party vote been called? A party vote is called. Would the clerk please conduct a party vote? New Zealand National, 59 votes in favour. New Zealand Labour, 34 votes in favour. Green Party, 14 votes opposed. New Zealand First, 7 votes opposed. Maori Party, in favour. Mana, in favour. Order. Order. Can we have the last vote again? And please, can I remind members that when a vote's taken, it is to be taken in silence. One vote in favour. Act New Zealand. One vote in favour. 
United Future. One vote in favour. Brendan Horan. One vote in favour. Any other votes? The ayes are 99, the noes are 21. The motion is agreed to. I call on Government Orders of the Day number 3 to 5. Housing Accords and Special Housing Areas Bill Committee Stage.